God to go down in the avenues of our soul and revive us to the place that we can live holy again. We, we've gotten to the place that we talk about we are holy, but our life says something different. I believe that even in this year of 2013, that God is still calling for holiness. God is still calling for repentance. God is still saying, come ye out from among them and be ye separated, said the Lord. I believe that the Lord is still telling us to put a difference between the clean and the unclean, the holy and the unholy. And the only way we're going to do it, we've got to go back and have another encounter with God. We, we've got to get to the place that we are saturated again in the Holy Ghost. You know, it kind of bothered me that when the presence of the Lord come in the house, and I understand that everybody don't have to jump, run, and shout, and fall out, but every now and then you ought to be able to feel the glory and the presence of the Lord when it comes in the house. I just don't understand that some of you can come in the house of the Lord and the glory fall. Others rejoice and bless the Lord and you leave here mad and talking about it. They just held too long and they just went too long and I didn't get nothing out of it. You need another encounter with the Lord. You need to tell the Lord to renew me, to refresh me. Give me another experience with you. Well, I notice this text, and I need to go there. I don't have long, somebody time me, but I, I need to go to this text. When I look at this text, it talks about in the year that King Uzziah died. Now, many of you said that Uzziah was in Isaiah way. Well, the saying was used simply to mark time. It was used to show uh, when Isaiah had his encounter with the Lord. Can you reflect back on the last time you had a real move of God? You know, we come here to sometimes, some folk don't shout till they come to church. Some folk don't praise the Lord till they come to church. I believe you ought to be able to have an encounter with the Lord in your living room. Why are you washing your dishes with suds on your hand? You ought to be able to experience the Lord. See, because I'm suspect of folk that can't get no anointed until you get in a crowd. And then I'm more suspect when you can't get an anointed until somebody playing on the music. Oh, you ought to be able to get a, a move of God in your house, even when nobody's there but you, when you're all by yourself. You ought to be able to call on the name of the Lord, and the glory of the Lord can fill your house. Isaiah was marking time when he said in the year, uh, the king is out there. 